holiday season is upon us, and you know what that means, family, merriment, and heavy boozing. Whether it's a glass of wine, or six at the Thanksgiving dinner table, some spiked eggnog, or just shots with your cousins in the basement trying to forget your drunk uncle's off-color jokes, and oh my god, is Grandpa the subtle racist? And listen, Carol, we know you voted for Trump and we don't want to get into it. The holidays can be stressful. And they can be joyous and merry and filled with love and gifts and hugs and no one judges you when you ugly cry watching Love Actually two consecutive nights in a row. But whether they're euphoric or whether they're stressful, either way, they will most likely be unsober. So here's how to drink right in life and in this holiday season so that you don't wake up January 1st wanting to crawl down a hole of shame and die for the worst three months of the year. Sound good, Cookie? So drinking and maintaining a healthy lifestyle can often be at odds, but it can be done. There is indeed a way to have your cake and eat it too if you do it right. And I am living, breathing proof. Veggies and vodka, baby. Rule number one when you're drinking, water. You absolutely 100% need to be drinking water. Otherwise, you'll wake up with a shitty hangover, hungry as fashion week, and you will most certainly skip the gym and be craving crap food all day. So here's the rule. For every alcoholic beverage you have, you need to be chugging an entire glass of water afterwards, preferably without ice. Every single cocktail. Minus maybe one if you're feeling the need for some extra buzz, but only one, never more than one. Rule number two, eat, but not too much. So eating before you drink might seem counterintuitive. I mean, if I don't drink before, I'll get drunker quicker and drink less overall, right? True, but getting drunk and sitting down at a dinner table is sort of like walking into a pickup bar with a nice buzz. You got drunk goggles on. And reflecting back on your actions the next day, you might find them less attractive in the harsh light of morning. In other words, you are at high risk of overeating and making unhealthy choices. Go into your drinking situation with something healthy already in your stomach. If you're going to a party, eat a light, healthy dinner before, not after. And if you're enjoying a pre-dinner cocktail, have a healthy snack before that. Hummus and veggies, cottage cheese and fruit, a hearty protein shake, you get it. Just make sure you have something clean and wholesome in your stomach. Buzzed overeating more than anything else is what gets people during the holidays. Drunk goggles, bad choices. Which brings me to my next and final rule, which is rule number three. Make a plan and know your limits. If you know you're gonna be drinking on a given day, hydrate as much as possible and plan calorically for the shit show that's about to go down later on. And before you commence activities, say out loud to another human being, I am only going to have three drinks tonight and I am only going to allow myself one cocktail with sugar in it or whatever your goal is. Helpful hint, if you wanna double down on your goals, tell a friend or family member you'll buy them a pricey bottle of champagne if you don't follow through on your goals. And trust me, everyone loves champagne and that person will watch you like a hawk all night. And of course, know your limits. Plan smartly, don't be stupid. And more importantly, don't be unrealistic. I am not ashamed to admit that some nights my plan includes two vodka sodas and an entire bottle of wine. Cause sometimes that's the kind of night I need, you know? Oh man, I've carried around organic jerky sticks and a clutch before, double fisted water and booze for entire nights out at a bar, uh, left parties for 20 minutes to go eat a thing of cottage cheese by myself, half drunk in my heels at a deli. And I feel great about all those decisions. I feel like a goddamn champion, because you know what? I always make it to the gym the next day. So yes, my dear barflies, it can be done. Just takes a little extra thought, a little extra effort, and the occasional organic jerky stick in your clutch. You got this. Cheers, barflies.